can't deal with that. Let's see if any of these... So I don't want the elven boot to need more since I have jumping. But these cloaks are probably better than acid. Um, better than the acid resistance that I get from my smock right now. Yeah, I have probably two AC over acid resistance. And with that I can sell off boop and boop. And that gets me over... I believe that gets me over 12,000. I want to keep the apron now. It could come in handy later. Four points of AC. Handy. Um, it looks like I got three points, but that's just because I'm unencumbered. And that improves my AC by two. I think that might be my dexterity bonus talking. Or it might be a vanilla thing. I can't remember. Anyway, so I'm at six points of protection now. It's neat. Um, Test endurance and sell a bunch of weapons or a bunch of ammo here because I probably don't need it or want it all. Don't want curse gloves, don't need open boots. Um, want a price ID this, and that's good. Those are plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, but silver. I won't, I'll keep that. Um, 174 over 23. I think that's plus one. No. We'll come back to that. Over again. Oh, it was twenty nine. Yeah, plus one. Silver dirt. And here I was also plus zero. And then just out of curiosity, what's my long sword at? That's a plus zero as well. So here's a fun evil hack fact. Um, normally, when you two weapon um, your skill, for each weapon is the um, lesser of your weapon skill, re the relevant weapon skill, and uh, your two weapon skill. So for instance, um, if I were uh, to get basic and longsword, and to, if I were dual wielding, wielding a longsword and a short sword, um, with my short sword it would hit as though I were skilled, with my longsword it would hit as though it were basic. But, 
Um, there is a special evil hack penalty for uh, trying to hit with weapons you're unskilled in. Um, and it caps you at 75% accuracy. And that applies to both weapons you're two-weaponing if your main hand weapon you're unskilled in. So if I were to two-weapon now with a long sword and a mithril and short sword, um, I would miss 75% of the time with both weapons individually, but anyway, that's how that works. Yeti is not something I'm going to screw around with, so I'm not using the longsword against that. Luckily it does give me some cold resistance. Um, okay, I'm going to go downstairs, see what awaits me in the depths below. Pretty sure I already moved this boulder, but in case I didn't, boulder trap averted. Um, I'll dump some stuff here that I don't need. Honestly, I don't really know where I'm why I'm carrying this thing around. But I can always toss it at something that I really need dead, I suppose. Yeah. Alrighty. It should be obvious that there's a stash to the left of me from the ring, but in case that helps. An extra little note. Another spear, spear trap. Those things are brutal. Actually, I can totally long sort of noble. Okay. So we're down to the dark levels. I've not found a lamp yet. I have to make myself do with I have to make do with candles, which isn't great. Yeah, and another dark level down there it looks like. Um that's one of those level levels where you're just kinda screwed if you don't have a If you don't have a pickaxe or swimming, I suppose. Um, with this acidy dude, I'm gonna wear my apron because the acid splash can be pretty bad, and I can't use my daggers because they'd rust or corrode rather. So I gotta go up close and personal with my mithril. And boom, trivialized by the apron. The Gnome Lord has a candle, which is useful, but it's also peaceful, so I kind of hope my cat kills it. If not, I just got a deal. So yeah, I'm collecting as many daggers as I can get. Hopefully rebuild a, a good number of them. Like a good stash of them. A reserve of them. I don't really have the word for that. At some point, I might actually also go down and uh, Hobbit pickpocket reminded me of Gollum, since they both seal things. And I might go check out Gollum's level. Um, since I can fly now, I can get to all the loot. Uh, and it might have a really good elven chainmail. Or it might be just like, meh. Which would also be fine. But I might as well check it out. It'll definitely have a cursed ring of invisibility. Um, and I'm getting to the point in the game where I could really use some extra defense from invisibility and also where I can probably uncurse it without too much difficulty. So 
so probably worth it. Maybe I should use my candle, but I figure I'm, I should try to save those for deeper levels. Since I only have a couple of them, a couple of them with me. Where are we at? Oh, piranha. That's a definite two weapon enemy. Um, piranhas are in vanilla, but they are much slower and have only one attack. Um, what's a soldier ant do? Not soldier, soldier ant. Okay. Not quite as... No, it's about as scary as a soldier ant, except only in water and it doesn't poison you. Um, yeah. Speed 18 and multiple 2d6 bites. Pretty nasty. sword time. Oh, I guess my satiatedness is really not doing me any favors. Although I haven't really been satiated that much. Certainly don't care about glass orbs. But I can use crossbow bolts perhaps. Which this dude wielding a dagger. I'm gonna see how much I can deal from them. Feels horribly well. It's pretty bad. Um, probably now is not the good, the best time to try training my deft because my dexterity is at an all-time low. Um, but also, it's a dwarf. You know, not too scary. I mean, where is that bolt trap? There it is, okay. Uh, that was good for 10% training, not bad. Oops. Rock now with that. This one over here. No. This one over here. No. That one. Coming for you. I definitely could use more practice. Okay. Rob them blind and then shank them the roguish way. Oh, and there goes my first candle. I believe I have one more. I think I might have had a stash of them that I could have brought, but I try not to use candles since you never know if you're going to screw up with the candelabrum. And, uh, I need more candles than you have. <laughs> Obviously thinking rather far ahead, but it's the sort of thing where it doesn't cost me much to be careful, and I'd really regret not being careful later if I get that far. Okay, let's deal with this piranha real quick. Maybe? Where's this dude? Oh, Sasquatches are scary. I don't want to deal with both of those things at once. Get out of the way, you silly cat. I 
haven't gotten a backstab in a while. That's neat. Gotta be getting close, yeah. Okay. Are there any other fishies around? I'm at low enough HP that I don't wanna unknowingly walk into a battle with them. Yes, reclaim some elven daggers for me. Peaceful to neutral characters. Ooh, I am really glad I saw that. <laughs> uh, I am not wearing like any particularly nice armor, but I still don't want to get polymorph by accident. Um, that's what I'm gonna name the level, because hostile monsters can always jump on them, which would be a real pain. Uh, so I, I want to know not to like spend an undue amount of time on this level. Short sword's bad enough that I don't want to spend a lot of time trying and failing to steal from this dwarf. Um, not good enough for me to take with me though. My short swords are already better and I can't really use it for anything forgy. Not that I'd want to wield anyway. Uh, There's the downstairs. One big downside is I can't use my jumping boots very effectively without a lamp. Um, so yeah, I might as well just be wearing normal shoes for the most part. Even jumping two squares usually isn't worth it, because it takes the whole turn. Speak of the devil. We have ourselves a lamp. Off chance it's magical. Um, in Evil Hack, cursed magic lamps will. Uh, they radiate darkness, so all the squares that would be lit by a lamp are instead made dark. Um, which means that if you light up a lamp, it means it's not a cursed magic lamp. Um, on the other hand, a cursed oil lamp will still sputter when you try to light it, um, like half the time. So as soon as I have some breathing room, I'm gonna just turn it on and off a couple times, because if it sputtered, then I'd know it was a cursed oil lamp. But it seems pretty likely it's not, so the mystery remains, and I'll just have to price identify it. Give some stealing another shot. Actually, it's probably not carrying much. No, take it. Um, one thing I'm curious about is whether you can steal. So the um, Orcus remains a demon lord um, that you, the only demon lord you're guaranteed to face. Um, and if I get that far, I'm curious whether I can steal this weapon. So, uh, he carries a, um, mace, or it might be a rod, which is a slightly fancier mace. Um, but it's called the Wand of Orcus. Um, so it's not a, or, yeah, so it's not a death wand like it is in vanilla. Um, instead, it is instead it is a uh, so it's a it's a mace um, and it deals a lot of damage. 
um, but it also drains uh, maximum hit points from you, like a significant number. So if, if you just straight up uh, fight Orcus in melee, even with a really powerful character, like one that's meant to bite things in melee, you're probably going to lose a good 20 hit points. Um, and the rod, it will always blast you, uh, like intelligent artifact, artifact style. Okay, that might be cancellation. Got to be careful with that. Shoot, it died. I was going to try zapping. Um, what can I put in? Dupe. Dupe. So anyway, it always blasts you when you try to pick it up, so you can't ever wield it. Um, even though it's a good weapon, and you want to, if you were the type of character that could make use of a mace. Uh, but I, th I think you might be able to steal it, and then you have to drop it as soon as you do. Um, but you can't really test in whiz mode. <laughs> Because in Wiz mode, you're, you are allowed to wield a Wand of Orcus, um, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> like, it'll still blast you. Or, sorry, so the Wand of Orcus always blasts you and evades your grasp. I don't know if I was clear about that. Um, so, anyway. It will only bl blast you if you're in wizard mode, which means it's hard to test whether or not you can actually steal it. Okay, we have two different kinds of lamps. I've named one question mark because I have no idea what it is. And only one of them is called such, which means that the other one is magic. Or one of them is magic and the other one is not. So that's neat. Uh, I'll actually switch to the new lamp, because iron is, at least in theory, rustable. I don't know if you can actually get it rusted via a rust trap or not, but I might as well stick with the steel version. And I'm still looking for a good enemy to test my possibly cancellation wand on. Of the devil. Let's see. Come on, something come after me. There we go. Oh, but now there's daggers there. I don't want to teleport those. There we go. It is cancellation. Uh, that means that I'm going to leave it upstairs. I'm going to unlight my lamp because I'm on a light floor. Um, but yeah, cancellation is definitely a good one to have, but not a good one to carry around. In theory, oh, I do have a sack. It even has a bunch of crap in it. Why does it have a bunch of crap in it? Oh, that's so weird. Why did I put that there? Well, that kind of explains why I'm so burdened all the time. It's, yeah, it's a good hundred units of um, inventory right there. None of it is dangerous to put in my bag of holding, so I am dumping that crap in. Uh, and it is uncursed. And I still don't need it enough to carry it around all the time. But when I pick it up again, I can put it in my sack, which I will officially name Emergency. Um, mostly that'll be for a scroll of scare monster if I find one. 
but it doubles as a place to put um, cancellation wand, bags of tricks, etc. Because I'll often just, you know, uh, put in uncursed items, put uncursed items in my bag um, without stopping to see what they are. So if I have an uncursed bag that I can put, uncursed sack that I can put um, dangerous uncursed items, dangerous unknown items in, that gives me a little protection. I likely do not need this pickaxe anymore, since I have a wooden one now, which is real nice. <sighs> Freaking gnomish wizards. Thank goodness I have a unicorn. And yep, that's a plus zero longsword. test. We're just kind of hanging out. Whatever. Looks like it might actually be cursed. That stinks. I'll still bring it with me. Because I can hopefully uncurse it at some point. Okay, it's not cursed. Cool. I just didn't feel like stepping on it. Um, I don't think we've run into one of these levels before, actually. The green stuff is sewage. Um, and you can walk on it. Uh-oh. Oh, frick. I don't have magic resistance, so that just totally wrecked any enchanted stuff I had. I don't know if it cancels magic lamps. Better frickin' not. Or if it does, it's better than the other freaking lamp that was magic. Uh, oh, it doesn't cancel everything. Maybe it's only... I could have... Hmm. It might only be six. It might only cancel six random items in your inventory. Yeah, actually, that's right. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, and my wands. I don't want them to be cancelled if they aren't. Everything else is already plus zero. Except my armor, which is whatever. Actually, do I have any curse stuff that I could use on cursing? Might as well give that a shot. Put in my emergency bag. Wand. Okay. So yeah, if you step into sewage, it slows you down, unless you're wearing mud boots, which are a random boot type. Kind of like snow boots and ice. Ah, here we are. So I haven't identified mud yet. Um, and yeah, you get a lot of giant leeches and cockroaches that hide in the sewage. Um, the cockroaches are just another member of Team A, poisonous pretty fast. They'll hide under stuff too. Um, giant leeches are... they can be pretty scary. Um, they have a sticky attack. Um, and they can take you by surprise by hiding, so... Um, if you're a squishy character, you want to stay away from sewage if you can. Or at least have warning or... Um, other means of finding the leeches. I'm confident in being able to take one on, I'd say. At least when there's nothing else around, which there really doesn't seem to be. Um, cool. That's almost certainly a statue trap, but I don't need anything from a gray fungus, so I'll just leave it be. On the other hand, I absolutely do want to... Oh, it's peaceful. It's probably poly from something. 
Speaking of the devil, yes. Uh, I really should have gotten that leash, I guess. Because that would allow me to polymorph my kitty. Looks like it's not going to take on the flesh golem. That's a shame. Because that grants a lot of resistances. Um, yeah, I'll probably try to get a leash in mine down. I can't remember if there's one available there or not, but... I could use a good pet, I suppose. Um... Yeah, okay, this is gonna be... one of the new mine den variants. And I'm gonna switch to two weaponing with all this stuff around. Uh, kill the killable stuff first. Cool. Um, yeah, so this is a new Mind's End version. Um, definitely the worst. Tooled horn if, tooled horned if that had gotten any further. I'm definitely tooled horning this one since I'm slow. Okay, honestly, there's nothing... Well, there's the Lux down. I guess I should stay for that. Ugh. Um, so, as you can see, so this is called, like, the sewers. I don't know if there's more to the name than that. Um, it has a lot of loot, but it's all locked in this tiny little room um, over here that has no doors and is undiggable. Um, and the only way to get in is to teleport. And there are teleport traps all over the place, but unless you have teleport control, it's a real pain to actually be lucky enough to land in the, in the proper room. On top of which, much of the loot is um, in a crystal chest, which you need opening to get into. Um, it's like a magical chest, and you can't open it with a lockpick. Um, you need to use knock or opening, or the bell of opening. Um, but anyway, so basically it's, it's a massive pain, is what I'm getting into. What, what I'm getting to. Um, not to mention I can't really use my daggers here, because they'll rust. And yeah, there's also crocodiles all over the place, which is freaking annoying. I'm not a fan of this level. At least that one's really low HP. There's now a leech over here somewhere, so I'm gonna try to stay away from it. Um, another unicorn, which is kind of whatever. I don't need it right now. Um, also, a lot of the places where the Luxstone can generate, so there's a Luxstone and a Lodestone that generate, like in a lot of other Mine Town variants. Uh, and And they generate in places where you can't kick them to test very easily. One time once more. Leeches are, I believe, a little slow, but I don't think they're slowed by sewage. So they're kind of hard to catch up to. Yeah, they're the same speed as me when I'm slow, so I can't really chase it properly through the sewage. Oh, but I have flying. Why have I not been wearing that? I'm a doofus. Yeah. Oh, this is so much better. 
Um, so yeah, amulet of flying, I think 3.7 adds him too. So yeah, there's one of the teleport traps. Uh, and it just is an amulet that allows you to fly, which is like levitating, except it's basically levitation, the best of levitation in normal, um, non-levitating. So you can levitate over anything that's in your way, but you can also reach down and pick stuff up. Uh, or go down into pits if you want to. Um, the only thing that levitation gives you that flying doesn't is 1000 carry cap. With flying, your carry cap doesn't change. I'm still at 875. Um, so, there's one of the stones. My pet might. I, I usually don't have a pet at this point. Um, it looks like it's probably the first boat stone. You had a trap there, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, this is turning out to be slightly easier than I expected. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it was ever really hard, but maybe less painful is a better way of putting it. Just an annoying level all around. Also, this is kind of a mixed bag, but I don't currently have magic resistance, so I don't have to worry about... Like, I can't help it. I just don't have it. Um, sometimes I come down here with magic resistance, and then I like keep on taking it on taking it off and putting it on again when I go through the teleport traps trying to get into the little room. Because um, it would be a real bad feeling if I, you know, died to a wand of death when I had magic resistance in my inventory and wasn't using it. Now it's just what it is. I can't help it. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. Which, you know, isn't great, but <laughs> it's freeing in its own way. Um, in here, You've got a bunch of rats and stuff. And you've got this dude here um, called the Rat King. Um, and so he's a lycanthropy sort of thing, except he turns into a rat. Where rat, that's what I'm looking for. Um, also, his lycanthropy bite works even in humanoid form. Um, the dev K2 wanted it so that, like, like he was hoping to. Well, I don't think he was actually realistically hoping, but he he would have liked if he could make it so that you had to kill the Rat King in order to get into the room with loot over here um, that doesn't have any doors. Um, but he couldn't think of a good way to do that. Um, so he's just optional. That said, he usually gets like a nice cloak. He gets a nice scimitar too. Which is neat if you're going for sabers. Uh, like it's enchanted and magical and all that. Honestly, I might pick it up. Because I could use a saber, okay. Because um, you can craft scimitars into the sabers. Uh, oh, and I'm still using my longsword. That's not good. Oh, and he's totally healed. Frick. And he's an ant, so I can't scare him. There we go. Flee, flee. Oh, shit. I can probably scare whatever's in my way. Okay. I'm just going to hope really hard that whatever was in my way is gone now. It is. Thank the Lord. I could probably pray, but... Better to save that for my next uh, matchup against the Rat King. Take off my amulet so I'm not wasting nutrition. Oh, we've got a... Ray ooze. Neat. No rustable stuff on me. Uh, 
Oh, it's not a polymorph thing, it's... I'll take my dwarf. It's a chameleon. Um, maybe I should have tested my 100 HP, or 100 gold rings, but I kind of just wanted that thing dead. Okay. You're back in business. Let's check. Okay, no more leeches around in the first table feature. Uh, I can probably blind him with a light charge. I think that's probably worth it. Yes! Just does so much damage. It looks like if his scimitar is magical, it's not anything with direct damage capability. Like, it's not fire, frost, or whatever. Oh, frick. I hate displacement. Hate it, hate it. Um, monsters have displacement now, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, and if you try to attack it, there's a chance that they won't be there. You can use the capital F fight to uh, prevent yourself from moving if you miss, but there's no getting around the missing. Um, yeah, he's terrifying. <laughs> he does get a throne, so I'm gonna try to nip in and get that, uh, well, I suppose I should probably wait until I get the luck stone, in case the extra luck helps. Um, I'm not sure how the duration of blind works. I think it might be indefinite. That would be neat. Hmm. Okay, so Mithril Elven Short Sword, which is the uh, lesser of my two short swords, um, does 1d7, 1d8, 1d7, I believe. Oh, it does 1d8, 1d8. I feel like that's different from vanilla. Huh. Elven short swords are better. What do you know? Today I learned. Um. Huh. Anyway, uh. The 1d7, 1d8 one still has a plus two damage bonus from Mithril. Um. So. If you average that out, that's the same in effect as a 1d11, 1d12 weapon, which is better than a normal longsword. So, uh, I'm going to not advance my longsword skill for now. Um, certainly if, if I get a, like an artifact one in the future or something, or even just like a mithril normal one or an elven one, there are a lot of options, but the point is, um, if I get a better longsword, there's a solid chance I'll use it over one of my short swords, and then I'll want to upgrade my long skill, longsword skill. But for now, there's no point. Um, I've got it trained up, and that's all I really need. There's the other teleport trap. Um, let's just see whether... Looks like he might not be blinded anymore. He's not. Frick. Hate the Threat King. Normally he's a pushover, but this character is a little squishier than most. Um, I guess one bonus to displacement is he can't really trap you. Like if you attack him enough, you'll switch places with him. Which is sort of a good thing, I suppose. It looks like when you're entangled, you can't fly, which puts you in the sewage, which makes you slow, which is, which is a bad time. There we go. Oh, I thought it was scared and wouldn't attack me. Now I gotta 
chase down that nymph too. Just, what a great day. Oh, and I walk into a magic trap. <laughs> Don't play frustrated, kids. You'll get yourself killed. Or at least magic trapped. Um, I probably shouldn't even be on this level anymore with the Rat King so dangerous, but I really want that Luxstone. Okay, so that's Teleporter Make Invisible. One of those would be useful here. see if I can first see if I can get my cat to nab the nymph. Sick and boy. Okay, where did the nymph get to this time? Nymph is at 2714. Ah, there we are. So you have the slash. If you do capital M, it'll tell you the coordinates of all the monsters, with 0, 0 being up here and this being like, you know, 70, 30 or something like that. I don't know the exact size of a map. Um, but that can be helpful if you're fighting something that's hard to spot against the background or just, you know, it's a busy map or whatever for whatever reason. Oh, actually this is a this is a golden opportunity because the rat king is stuck. Oh and now fuck. I did not know I could switch. Oh and I can't wear Miami Little Flying because I have lycanthropy. I'm gonna hope this is teleport. Even if it's invisibility that's better than nothing. Okay, that was lucky. Uh, and now we've got an acid spear after us. So I'm just going to take out my apron real quick. Um, I don't have any wolf spain, so I'm going to have to pray for purification. I pretty much have to, because I need that amulet of flying to do anything worthwhile. Um, and then this isn't going to do any damage to me because I'm acid resistant at the moment. So it's better to just blow it up pronto. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on my flying again. Where did the nymph get off to? Oh, it's over here now. Great. And it just zooped somewhere else. Where did it zoop to? Now it's over here. Um, I have, like, very few attack options, because my daggers will rust. Did my cat just kill it? I think she might have. Um, nymph, nymph, nymph. Okay, yes, I think she did. Of course, the Rat King is going to pick up my crap now, if I'm not careful. Can I jump through a spider web? Uh, oh, and it's a rope golem, so it can get me, for lack of a better word. I just don't want the Rat King to get my stuff, because I'm never getting it back. Okay, I'm confident against just that. Okay. I'm going to run for my stuff real quick. One, two. I'm just going to stick my daggers in since they're basically worthless right now anyway. Is he slow? No. I guess he doesn't get slowed by sewage either. Shame. Um, I'm going to see if I can trap him in this little corridor. 
uh, yeah. Don't know how that'll go, but it's worth a shot, right? There it is. Um, so I have two options. I can either shut myself in here and then hope he displaces swaps with me. I'm going to do that since I have the teleport wand as a, uh, uh-oh. Fuck. Well, I guess I have to use my teleport wand now. Man, that was not fun. And it's not even locked, I don't think. And I probably can't pray right now. And he's coming after me. This is such a not fun time. Uh, I don't think turning into a rat will wreck any of my armor, which is not super helpful, but it's there. Gotta hang out, I guess. Can't even turn off my lamp. Whatever. May very well be magic. I gotta eat a lizard. I guess I gotta eat another lizard. And I'm still weak, so if I pray, I have no idea which problem my god will fix. If that's how it works. Okay, let's see if he kills me immediately. There we go. Now I can eat something. I still need a luck stone. I think I'm gonna risk going downstairs again. Paid off this time, I suppose. Now flee, flee, flee for the hills. Okay, no more of this getting into the melee range nonsense. And it's a spider which could totally wreck me. isn't great, but the king isn't too close. Okay. Last year of the luck stone. Um, okay. I want to 
wait till he's kind of far away. Okay, I'm gonna kick it open. Because this way I can jump diagonally. Or I could if I were not blind. lead out of that at least. Lock the door real quick. And use the throne real quick. And that was useless. And there's a secret passageway somewhere around here. This is the oil lamp. If I go fast enough... Boom! Trapped! Of course, I can't... I don't want to try to teleport into it, so this is the room where all the loot is. First of all, there's a crap ton of enemies, um, including some giant crocodiles. Second of all, just statistically, I'm more likely to end up here than I am here uh, if I try to teleport randomly, so... I'm just going to say loot, because there's some really nice stuff there, but I can't use it right now. <sighs> that was fun. Ha. Huh. I always feel like if you put a lit lamp into a bag, it should catch the bag on fire, <laughs> which would be super mean, but feels like it makes sense. Um, this is magic. Got the luck stone again, actually. And... Magic. Might as well use the lamp that won't die. Um... Well, that was exciting. It seems like a good end point. Uh, I'm gonna actually just go up as I talk, though. I would say that that whole this whole time has been a good, good example of what not to do. <laughs> um, I kept on playing even when I was frustrated. Didn't always take time to think. So, for instance, I ate my lizard corpses before going downstairs and just getting myself untransformed that way, which was, it, it, admittedly there was an element of danger to that, but I think it's less dangerous than eating both of your lizard corpses, especially when you know there's a cockatrice upstairs. Um, yeah, uh, whenever things aren't going your way, that's not the time to play faster <laughs> or to be angry. Um, and that's something I always struggle with. I think it's probably not helped by the fact that I don't really want to stop mid-video, but, uh, but yeah. I mean, I think pretty much anybody can have trouble with that from time to time. Okay, um, back on Mine Town. Home sweet home. Get a blessed, blessed lamp out of this. That would be neat. 
Even if we don't, I have a whole altar now. Oh, are these all elves? Oops. <laughs> Um, although I do have to watch out for that angel. So you know, there's Mithril and Broadsword. I can name that for Orcrist. Um, that isn't like super helpful to me in general, but it does have the possibility of summoning a bunch of elves, which I can eat. Um, or depending on how the mood takes me, I could do it at the altar um, and sacrifice them. So. Yeah, because there's no downside to having more, um, to having more artifacts in the game, uh, not from wishing or sacrifice. Um, there's no reason for me not to name it. Okay, uncursed magic lamp. Um, really wishing I got my cat to pick up that holy water. What potions do I have? I mean, with flying, I can just dilute some sickness or whatever. Although I could also poison daggers. I should do that. Once I have a good stack of daggers, that is. Um... I have more daggers that are good. Yeah, okay, 15 daggers, that's good. Um, okay, well, I think we'll do another price ID at the beginning of the next video. Um, maybe poison some of these daggers. Uh, certainly get the magic lamp situation figured out. I don't know if I'll do that before or after going to Sokoban again. Um, with 15 daggers, I can take the gelatinous cube. So I might want to know what I get before wishing for anything. Like if I get an amulet of magic resistance, I don't need to worry about that anymore. Alright, um... Thanks for watching, and see you next time.